All right, what's up, everybody? Maddie C Sports for you and me. Uh, here with my first guest I ever had on the show, my main man over here, number 42 for the Ravens of Baltimore, my boy Pat Ricard. Pat, how you doing? Um, I mean, I've been better, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Years, but um, I mean, it is what it is at the end of the day. Um, I'm, I mean, I'm physically okay. I'm just gonna get some rest and just get ready for next week. So doing all right. Yeah. Um, it was a hard one in uh, Foxborough last night, and I understand. Um, but from what I saw from you, I did my quick scouting of you last night. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, man, from the second and third quarter, I saw that you were just um, – you had some great blocks and that quick uh, route to you. W were you all right with that helmet-to-helmet -helmet right there? Yeah. Um didn't really feel anything besides my ear, just my side of my ear right here. It kind of mm -hmm. just felt like pinched. Um, so like my ear lobe was a little numb, but other than that, I was fine. Like I didn't really feel like any concussions or anything like that. So. Okay. Uh, yeah. That's good. So, um, good. So yeah. Also, I want to uh, give a brief thing with your boy, uh, Nick Boyle with his injury. That was um, pretty intense, man. And I was so sad to see it. So Prayers up to your boy there. Um, yeah, I mean, how did you feel? I mean, it must be so different and scary on the sideline when you see that. Yeah, I mean, I was right there 10 yards from when it happened, and you can just instantly just see the way his knee went that you just knew it was bad. Yeah. Um, sucks because he's such a crucial part to our offense and our team, and, um, he, you know, his, his role is going to be hard to replace, um, that's for sure, and – I know I'm going to be asked to do some of the, some of his things, so I'm going to try my best to, you know, fill in that area. But um, yeah, it's tough to see that happen to anybody, especially your own teammate. So hopefully yeah. he'll, you know, recover from it and get get back and you know be the way he was before. Now you um, definitely your guys were really vocal yesterday. I mean Lamar just pretty much said we're we're pissed, like we're not happy with what we're doing. And same with Matthew, Matthew Judson. I mean, he was um, vocal that um, it just wasn't enough. Um, I'm, I'm sure you feel the same way after yesterday. Yeah, I mean, looking at our schedule, this game was a game we had to win. Um, you know, we have, Pitts, we have Tennessee and Pittsburgh coming up the next two weeks, and those two games are games that are going to be a big challenge for us. And we just knew that the Patriots are, you know, they're a team that, have had their struggles and we've, we had to, you know, make the most of this game and, and get this win. Um, you know, unfortunately it didn't happen. So now we're kind of in a hole with, you know, the schedule coming up. So we're going to have to really just, you know, make the most we can do and, and try to get, you know, squeezing these wins these next couple of weeks. Yeah. And I, um, I, I saw how you, you played and I think you played well in the whole situation um, throughout the game. And I, I'm, I'm glad Harbaugh put you in a, as much as he did for the game last night. Um, now, your your offense was somewhat on point in the beginning of the game. And it's just, how did, how is it like playing in that weather condition? Because like, I, I just, as a fan's point of view, I, I would have no clue how it would be with a wet football or any of that. Is it constantly like drying the ball and yeah. Um, <laughs> um, so the thing that's difficult is, you know, we play with gloves and these gloves have, you know, a nice sticky surface to them. So it's really easy to hold on to the ball and catch the ball and, and all, do all the things we have to do to execute our offense. So when it's raining like that, um, you really can't wear those gloves. And, you know, some of our, our receivers weren't wearing gloves the whole game. I had to take my gloves off because it's just, it's it's a liability. If you get the ball in your hands, you might it might slip out of your hands just because of your, of your gloves. So that alone is a challenge in itself. And, you know, and, and the center snapping the ball and the quarterback catching it every time and all the handoffs and everything. Um, and you know, it can damper your, your passing game as well, throwing the ball. And just in general, just singing, hearing, because it's it's kind of loud. The wind was going crazy and all the rain. and um, It can be difficult, but at the end of the day, you still have to try to execute the best you can and try to make the, you know, the most of it. And um, I think we did pretty well for the most part. 
Um, but I mean, it's always a challenge, especially the way it was raining last night. Yeah, it, it looked ridiculous from my standpoint, but I can't even imagine you guys were just drenched. Like I, I can't even imagine that probably puts about 10, 20 pounds on you, right? Something like that. I don't know. It's it's a lot, though. That's yeah. for sure. Um, now, what you were saying about, you know, you got to play. I mean, you, you do have a fairly tough schedule with um, next week, but I, I liked how you said on to the Titans and stuff like that. And, you know, that Thanksgiving game, I think, is going to be tough. But, um, you know, where do you see yourself with the rest of the schedule? I mean, I, I, I'm i from a different standpoint again. So, I mean, I think every game you're going to say is probably a challenge in itself, you know. So, right. I mean, it's, it's the NFL, so you have to take it week by week and just – you know, respect your team and prepare the same way as if you were playing the best team in the league and the worst team because everybody gets paid, everybody, you know, plays hard, and it's any given Sunday you can win a game. Um, but, yeah, I mean, there's obviously some teams that are better than others. But, uh, yeah, we definitely knew the five this five-week span of starting with, what was it, Pits, uh, Pittsburgh, I believe, we played Pittsburgh and the Colts and then this game and then now Tennessee and Pittsburgh again. We knew that five week, that was a really big test for us and that we had to pull out, you know, most of those, most of those wins um, because in the back end of the schedule, you know, it's teams who have losing records, but at the same time Patriots just did. So that's what I'm, that's exactly what I'm trying to get as it doesn't really matter. You know, it more, it's more of a matchup. I think it's more of, the players on both teams, how they match up against each other and how you, the, you can scheme against them and play against them. Um, so, I mean, it really is week to week at that in, in my eyes. So, yeah. Now oh, you guys are at home next week. And um, that's another thing I was wondering with, with the home field advantage this year with um, certain stadiums. I mean, how are you guys feeling when you were playing at home? Is it still like an, a pretty good vibe or um, what's it like? I know yeah. it's an empty stadium, but. Yeah. Um, so our last home game was against the Steelers and we had fans for the first time. So it, it, it gave a little more of a atmosphere in our favor, but still there's not too many fans in there. Um, I think the biggest thing is just having it, at our place so we don't have to travel we don't have to stay, stay at a random hotel you know we're doing our own routine here and having our own locker room our own hotel that we always stay at i think that's the advantage um other than that it's really kind of a fair playing field for this whole this whole season because of you know the lack of fans yeah um so i mean what i mean is it more that you know, is it going to be John that's Harbaugh that's like real? Was he um, more upset with last night? Like he just seemed very calm in the situation for what he could. Yeah, I'm, it's I think it's more just disappointing, disappointing. Um, our, our, you know, our defense has, has done so well all year and it just seemed like the, they just couldn't stop the run. Um, you know, we had some injuries on defense and some guys weren't in those spots. Um, and then offensively, I mean, you know, I think we, we put together, uh, you know, some good drives and, um, you know, at the end of the day, we just didn't get the job done. And I think he's just, um, you know, just disappointed because that was a, that was a game we had to win and it was a game we should have won and, you know, on paper. Um, but, uh, you know, we just have to kind of just learn from it and move on and get ready for the, this next game. And I think you're 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 all on the same page pretty much. I mean, during I watched the press conference with uh, Matthew Judson, and he pretty much said on point what you just said to me. Um, so now you seem to have played a lot of offense on the off uh, offensive side of the ball this week. Um, have you been playing uh, a lot of defensive side too this year, or is it mainly you're concentrated with offensive book this year? No, I've uh, been strictly offense this year. Um, ever since I, uh, ever since the off season, they I've kind of transitioned to mostly offense just because of the fact that I did go to the Pro Bowl as a fullback, and 
Um, you know, they made some moves in the front office to where it made me go strictly offense. I think that's what they want me here as. Um, and I don't blame them. I mean, I, I do well on offense and, um, you know, I can only do so much um, in games. You know, I, I going back and forth sometimes was is a challenge. So I think me just focus on one side of the ball is a good thing. Um, but yeah, I mean, now with Nick Will out, there's not even a question if I'm going to even try to go back to playing some defense because they need me in offense. So, uh, so yeah. Well, the thing I saw that was, that was good was Chris Collinsworth last night was when you had that two yard run and they said, with you, Ricard, they said, you know, how, how can you take down a 300 pound guy? He just so, he's just so unstoppable. I mean, when you, I mean, I don't know if you go back and watch the games or stuff like that, or is it strictly film, but I mean, how does it feel like to hear that kind of positivity for yourself? Yeah. I never watched the the actual in-game uh, like broadcasts. I watched, you know, our film that we get on our iPad. So there's no, there's no audio or anything like that. Um, but yeah, it's always really cool when I hear guys like that talk about me because, you know, I grew up watching games and they would talk about players and the fact that they're talking about me like that is just a really cool feeling. And it's just great to have that recognition and that people respect me and uh, talk well about me. Um, I mean, it's always a good thing, right? So I think it's really cool and, um, you know, I'm all for it. Well, I have to say you have a lot of Ravens fans here in this state for sure. And including me with your, you know, your sure. line there, bro. Um, but anyways, um, what's the, uh, so without, with you guys, you and Boyle, I mean, also with that too, they were saying, you know, you guys are the, the big strong guys on the line who, who are just so tough. Like you guys like just scrap just to help your team. And like, how do you feel when, I mean, how does that like transition for you? I mean, is it better that you're on the offensive side of the ball or is it like you're getting a couple sides of the defensive ball? What do you mean exactly? Like on the offensive side of the ball, like, is it, is it, do you feel like you're better at blocking in that sense or in the defensive sense? Um, I think I'm better at blocking in that sense. Um, you know, I take pride in that, obviously, and me and Nick are two big parts of our offense that make it go for mm -hmm. what we're doing. Um, you know, he's a tight, he's a bigger, he's a bigger tight end. I'm, I'm a bigger fullback. So we kind of are mismatches for some teams and, you know, we can physically wear, wear them down. So, you know, I think it's more in that sense. And I think when you, when you cross paths and you, you know, you go in front of Lamar and, you know, he scrambles your way. I mean, you, you do the same. It's like you go from the other side of the field on, onto, onto that side and Lamar runs the same way you do. And you just have a open hole for him uh, pretty much a lot of the time, you know, like a lot of fullbacks don't have that speed or agility to like get to that, that side of the field, you know, not mm -hmm. saying anything bad about other fullbacks in the league. Yeah. Um, I think it's, I think it's our offensive coordinator just schemes it up very well for me to motion that way and to get that advantage and that leverage on the defense to where I can make those plays happen. And, um, you know, I think it's very unique. We kind of last year, he kind of started it with me. And I think so now this year, especially you're starting to see some more teams do that kind of motioning with their blockers like that. Um, Cause you know, it works. It's effective. It, it you, you definitely get, you know, it, it happens so fast. Teams don't know sometimes what, what's going on. So, uh, yeah. And I, I appreciated the um, watching the short routes that uh, Lamar had the option to throw to you. I mean, you had a couple that uh, last night. I was like wishing that he would pass it to you, but <laughs> you know, sometimes that just doesn't yeah. come ha or happen. But um, yeah, my my final th um, thing for you, Pat, because uh, I know you're busy and stuff like that. But um, 
I mean, for this rest of the season, uh, what's your goal t- besides winning the Super Bowl? What, what do you hope to accomplish? Um, individually, I mean, I hope my play speaks for itself. And, you know, I hope I get, I'm able to be selected for another Pro Bowl. Um, I mean, that's such a big accomplishment. And it, it definitely means a lot just because um, it's, it's the way to get that recognition. Um, but still, I'm not like, I'm not playing just for that. I don't, I don't, you know, look into that stuff all the time be like, oh, I need to go to the Pro Bowl. That's all I care about. Blah, blah, blah. It's more of just, I think it's just more recognition for what I'm doing, what my coaches are doing, my teammates, everyone that supports me. Um, but at the end of the day, I still just want to win games. Um, but yeah, I mean, the Super Bowl is the ultimate goal. And for me as a fullback, I can only do so many things like, you know, defensive yeah. play. I need this many tackles, this many that, blah, blah, blah. Fullback, it's like I get the ball when it happens. You know, it's not like I have plays just designed for me type of thing. Like, you know, some receivers and running backs, obviously, they have certain plays that are before them. Me, it's more like I fit into plays, and if if the, the ball comes my way, it does. So, um, and, you know, it's a selfless position. So it's not like I'm asking, oh, I need to get five touchdowns this year, 10 catches, blah, blah, blah. Um, it's more of, I just want to play physical, sound football and put up film that I am happy about. That's all I really care about. Well, I hope for nothing but the best for the rest of the season for you, Pat. And uh, thanks for coming on the show again, my friend. Um, Also, people, if you want to rep this guy, you got to rep the patricard.com. Check out all his merch and all that stuff. And uh, root for the Ravens. Do whatever you got to do to support this team support Pat and all that stuff. And uh, Pat, thank you very much again for coming back on and uh, hopefully we'll have you on again soon. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, man. I appreciate it. I hope you have a great rest of your Monday. Um, And I'm going to try to do the same. So take care, Matt. Appreciate it. See you later, bud. Yep. And that was Pat Ricard. So great guy. And, uh, Tough loss yesterday, but still managed to come on the show. And uh, nothing but respect and class for that guy. And, uh, again, check out his line, thepatricard.com. He's got all shirts, hats, and all that stuff. And uh, hopefully you Ravens fans better get on that cheering and all that stuff. And uh, good luck to the Ravens for this season coming up. Still uh, a lot of football left, so. Hopefully, we'll see. Um, I just hope they kick the Steelers' ass on Thanksgiving. But uh, this is Maddie C signing off.